Good evening, lovers of ASMR, and all things quiet but noisy, potentially, potentially, not always, unintelligible. But not inaudible. Things that we as a community of weirdos who by and large have so much going on in our lives lately, in our brains, it's difficult to shut off. Well, I'm here tonight to help you turn off that little switch in your brain. It doesn't let you go to sleep. I'm going to do it with some soft speaking and some gentle noise makies. It's a clinical term. I don't always like to be too clinical when we're talking about ASMR. In this case, why don't you all, in the words of the infamous pioneer when it comes to sound quality in ASMR, massage ASMR, Dimitri himself, why don't you all kick back, relax, and uh, get yourself in a comfortable position, close your eyes, maybe even fall asleep, that ruffles my frills. I have a panoply of implements here, and I will be talking throughout this video, but um, intermittently and rambly, and most importantly of all, apolitical. Apolitical means non-political, just in case there was any confusion. In fact, this is a straight from the R complex kind of ASMR video. We're not engaging the frontal lobes much, and that's not what we want to do. We want to disengage those frontal lobes, even if doing so means I'm taking an implement like this and doing a little, little snippy snippy, little slicey slicey, in order to prevent those frontal lobes from getting in the way of much-needed rest. For posterity's sake, let you all know I'm recording into a sound devices mix pre. 32-bit float on the audio through a stereo matched pair of AKG C414s. Those are large condenser microphones. Got a couple of relatively new pop filters on these I had in the past been a bit, uh, let's say, arrogant about my mic technique. 
and I liked the gold grills that these microphones have. And so I was reluctant to put pop filters in front of them. Yet I discovered I was not perfect, after all, at preventing these pops myself. Not only that, but as time went on, I got worse. I got... It pains me to say it. I got lazy. But now, pop filters firmly in place, and we don't have to worry about the plosive P's or the sibilant S's. And these are easy enough to maneuver around so that if I want direct access to the microphone grill, Usually the back is good enough. If these were hypercardioid or more narrow, maybe it wouldn't be. But no, I'm going for a natural, natural sound. Low noise. So, like I said, pair of AKG C414s going to a sound devices. Mix pre. And video is. Well, it's a comparatively recent change for me. Is he a Blackmagic 6K Pro? Recording raw at 6K. Totally overkill for a video like this. There's no need for it. But doing it anyway. So. There's a dog howling in the distance, but let's imagine that dog getting further and further away. Leaving you to. Take slower, deeper breaths. As you breathe in this manner, we'll lower your heart rate, your blood pressure, and allow you to relax. I do find it not completely without ironic humor to go back to older ASMR videos, and I don't fancy myself immune to this. It's, there was a time when The method of trying to get someone to relax via an ASMR video was simply to say, relax, relax, whatever's bothering you, just don't let it bother you anymore. You're feeling anxious, you say, have you? perhaps considered not feeling anxious. That might be a great help to you as you attempt to nod yourself into the land of nod. Your daily problems eking away, each one a straw, dogpiling you, if you'll forgive the mixed metaphor, putting more and more weight on your back, and 
until you walk stooped, shuffling, a gait that lets the entire world know that you're unhappy with it. That is, you and I surely know. The world does not care. The universe is neither benign nor malignant, simply indifferent to the concerns you may have. You can wear your stress openly on your face. It may manifest as a wrinkle right between the old eyes. You may scowl. You may Notice some kids out your window playing near your fence. You may feel that you need to tell them to get the hell away from your fence. They weren't doing anything wrong. They were just being kids, having fun. And these expressions of Anger and frustration rarely do anything to assist in bringing you to a better place. No, they don't seem to do that at all. So why not smile? That's what I remember a smile to look like. Hopefully it was authentic enough that maybe some of that joy, joy that comes from just being alive, rubbed off on you. You looked into my face, my eyes, and my open, welcoming grin and thought. That guy's got it figured out. That guy, he knows what it takes. He knows what's going on. I should be more like him. No? All right, you have trapped me in a bit of a fib. As I too wallow in the same murk as you. Blindly fumbling for a switch that may not exist at all, or may exist and the light bulb is burned out, or may exist and turn on the electricity to a slightly dampened floor, radiating that rogue voltage up through your uninsulated feet.
Yes, my recommendation is don't think about it. There are so many doors leading from this world into eternal nothingness. Some clearly marked, some ambiguous, some marked in opposition of what they truly contain. That saying, when a door closes, a window opens, perhaps it's best just to keep all the doors closed and all the windows closed and use two inch nails if you have to. Hell, go for three inch. Secure yourself in your room or your, your happy space. No need to leave. No need to tempt fate. Wash your sheets, your duvet pillowcases. Use a dryer sheet, but nothing too fragrant. You want the cleanliness to be its own statement. You don't want it to seem like you're trying to cover something up, do you? And then go to bed. It may take you some time to relax enough to fall asleep. Enter me. This little fella predates everything everywhere all at once, just in case you were wondering. There's something about the sound of wood on wood. Let's see. Taking a bit of a risk here. to that was there. Keep your eyes closed. Think of nothing. Perhaps it would help if I gave you a list of things not to think about. Don't think about spiders. Don't think about the fact that spiders like dim cavernous places like, say, the folded duvet at the foot of your bed. Don't think about snakes. Don't think about whatever that sensation was that seemed to brush by one of the fine hairs on your leg giving you the impression that something is under the duvet with you.
Don't think about the inevitability of aging and mortality and the indignities that so often precede it. Don't think about pain. Don't think about the expectations that others have of you. The expectations that they foist upon you and you for some inexplicable reason that I still don't know the answer to. Take on that responsibility as if it was your burden to bear simply because someone else wanted it to be thus. Don't think about the things you need to do tomorrow. Don't think about the fact that you may have nothing to do tomorrow. Don't think about the fact that increasingly through time, more and more of what we call life experience is abstracted away into virtual representations of those experiences. Not simulations of them so much as slides in a projector. A trip taken by a friend. They talk you through. And you're supposed to feel as if you took the journey yourself. Think about how your skin is losing its elasticity. Don't think about the fact that the more time that passes for any given individual, the more time you have in bank behind you, the faster time itself seems to move. You start to accrue experiences or non-experiences or slide projector experiences with interest. Years can feel like months. A decade is really only a long time to someone who has only lived a decade. And even that is an illusion you and I both know the truth. Leave it to them to find that out for themselves. Don't think about those things. Instead, Think happy thoughts. Look, if your real life experiences are going to be so woefully underwhelming, 
as to make you question why you aspire to endeavor and undertake them at all, you might as well turn to dream. Live your most vivid fantasies without ever leaving your bed, without in fact ever being conscious. Yes, you or we tend to forget dreams shortly after waking. But in the final reckoning, all your experiences are tears and rain. It's all just a matter of perspective. So live in your dreams. Maybe dream those dreams into your life. Drugs, maybe, could help. Of course, managed by a licensed physician. inside of this. It's some kind of gourd. I assume it's the actual seeds in here. It's kind of a dull sound. That's what we want, isn't it? Dull sounds, dull experiences, dull lives, most importantly, dull deaths. One might wish for an exciting or exceptional death. Go out in a place of glory to die with your boots on. Hmm. I think I'll take the heavily medicated option. I'm not looking forward to it so much as just not really looking forward to much in life. Glass grapes. Not actually glass, but they make lovely sounds nonetheless, and they're beautiful, each one an oblong reflection of the myriad lights illuminating this scene you see before you, the scene rife with books unread, plants that have never experienced photosynthesis, not for one moment, in their plastic lives, instruments 
not played to their full potential. Toys for an adult. And that is the distraction we all seek. Just want toys that are good enough, compelling enough, interesting enough to hold our attention as the clock runs down, the springs lose their tension. The skin loses its elasticity. The brain loses its plasticity. Our arteries kick and harden. Our blood becomes thin and runny, but also clumpy, a much less effective vehicle than it once was. I think my point that I'm trying to make here is Enjoy the ride.